This Week in Comic Book Horror is an overview of new comics on the shelves in the horror genre. Let's see what's coming out this Wednesday, January 12th, 2022. Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights. I'm M.L. Miller. Before we begin, please do me a favor and punch that like button down below, share this video with all of your social media addicted pals, click subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell for notifications. Here's This Week in Comic Book Horror, January 12th, 2022. The Devil Tree, number two, is from Blood Moon Comics. The story is by Keith Rommel, with art by Wolfgang Schwant. I couldn't glean much from the description of this issue. It seems to be about an evil tree that is able to influence people with its evil, wily ways. Why doesn't that tree just leave those nice people alone? Leave them alone, evil tree. Leave, I say. Leave. Grim Spotlight number three is from Zenoscope Entertainment. The story is by my buddy Pat Shand. This issue shines the spotlight on Angelica Blackstone, the daughter of Hades. Pat Shand is writing, so at least the story will be solid. And with Zenoscope Publishing, it's sure to sport covers chock full of ass, titties, ass and titties, ass, ass, titties, titties, ass and titties. These Damn Kids, number two, is from Second Sight Publishing. The story is by Bradley Golden and Peter Burrow with art by Helmut Racho. All of the children of Vicksburg, Mississippi have turned into bloodthirsty monsters. This does not bode well for their parents. Reminiscent of The Brood, The Children, and Village of the Damned, this series feels like some awesome throwback horror. I'm looking forward to checking it out. Vampifers, number five, is from Dynamite Entertainment. The story is by Tom Snigoski and Janine Atchison with art by Daniel Maine, With Vampirella and her alternate reality doppelgangers stuck in the Stone Age, more Vampirellas across the multiverse are being cacked by a bloodthirsty killer. Plus your usual dose of covers and interiors dripping with ass and titties. Lunar Room number two is from Vault Comics. The story is by Danny Lohr, with art by Georgia Sposito. A former werewolf wants her fur back and the place called the Lunar Room might just be able to help her with that. But of course, there's a price. I love me some werewolves. Is anyone reading this one? Should I be? Let me know. Hell, Sonia, number one, is from Dynamite Entertainment. The story is by Christopher Hastings, with art by Pascal Qualano. Looks like Red Sonia bit the dust and ends up in Hell, where she serves as judge, jury, and an executioner for the devil himself. An interesting turn for Red Sonia. Not sure what I think of it, but I know there will be plenty of scorching hot ass, ass, titties, titties. in this comic. Hotel Volume 2, number 2, is from AWA Upshot. The story is by my pal John Lees, with art by Lee Luridge and Dalibor Talajic. John Lees delivers another potent horror anthology series focusing on the unlucky occupants of a hotel where the only thing guaranteed is that nothing is normal. This issue tells the story of a defector of a motorcycle gang who tries to hide out in the hotel, but she can't hide from her own inner demons. More one-and-done horror from one of horror comics' new titans. Nyx number 3 is from Dynamite Entertainment. The story is by Christos Gage, with art by Mark Borstel. Nix encounters Vampirella in this issue, but will she be friend or foe? All I know is that this meeting of titans means there's bound to be a double dose of ass for all to enjoy. Maniac of New York, The Bronx is Burning, number two, is from Aftershock Comics. The story is by Elliot Kalan, with art by Andrea Muti. I'm still loving this series that features our second favorite hockey masked killer rampaging through a school. Even though the city has precautions in place, they don't seem to be a match for this machete-wielding man-monster. Bask in the carnage in this awesome series. 
Stillwater number two is from Skybound. The story is by Chip Zdarsky, with art by Mike Spicer and Ramon Perez. In a town where no one can die, how dangerous is it when the Marines show up armed to the teeth and ready to intervene? Things escalate to deafening levels in this intense hit series from top-tier writer Chip Zdarsky. Finally, Department of Truth number 15 is from Image Comics. The story is by James Tiny and the Fourth, with art by David Romero. This series ventures into the wild world of conspiracy and cryptids. The focus on this issue, the Mothman, is a fascinating urban legend. Tinian seems to love his modern monsters, and his impeccable research goes into every X-Files-esque panel for Department of Truth. Any of these new comics interest you? Let me know which ones down in the comments. Stuck inside your reality, your 